Now, I am supposed to be protecting the world in this game, but I'm kind of curious to know what would happen if I charge up this gigaton blast thing that I've got and just choose to, you know, blow up the entire world, or at the very least, this entire city. I think I can do that. I think that is an option. I think the longer we charge it, the better it will be. It's like a spirit bomb from Dragon Ball Z, and that always took like three or four episodes to charge. So, you know, at least two hours to reach its maximum potential. Uh, which I won't do now. Maybe ten more seconds. Yeah, ten more seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm very sorry to everyone who lives here. Oh dear. Oh! Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hello, my name is Superman, but don't tell anyone because that's my secret identity. And this is probably still, probably still, the best VR superhero game or superhero simulator that you can actually get your hands on. This is an older game called Megaton Rainfall, and it is actually quite insane what this game lets you do in VR. It's the most freeing feeling in the world. It's very, very simple. It's a short game. It's got a story that spans about nine missions uh, and involves you basically just defending the Earth from some aliens who are invading and you're a superpowered being who can shoot stuff. There we go. From his hands. But there's not been, in my opinion, a superhero game yet that's really capitalized on that power fantasy. Everyone wants to feel like a superhero. We've had a few Spider-Man games, um, and they've been fine, but very shallow. Um, we had the Marvel Avengers VR game that lots of VR YouTubers like to keep dragging up, even though you can't buy the thing anymore. One particular YouTuber even said it's the best Quest 2 game you can't buy or can't play, even though it was never on the Quest 2. So, uh, that in itself is ridiculous. Now in Megaton Rainfall, as I say, you have to defend the Earth against some aliens. Take that, you stupid Earth! Um, but the cool thing about it is it's really freeing in that you can just fly off into space like I've done right now and then just fly around the Earth. So let's go for a fly. Oh, that's the sun. There it is, rising over the Earth. What's that weird little island down there? Don't know. I'm not interested. All I'm interested in is flying like Superman da, 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 until I get to my oh, mission objective there it is right so you fly down wow Jesus there we go into the sea okay so I'm under the sea right now and there's all these little finding Nemos flying around me and that is a new power upgrade so we fly and get that oh. Oh. Jesus there we go. I now have superliminal flight. Whatever that might mean. Me. Will do. Okay. Off we go. Oh my god, are we going to the moon? Where are we going? <gasps> I'm flying. Oh! That's the moon. There it is. How far are we going? Where's the earth now? Is that the Earth? Jesus! <laughs> Alright, we're going, we're going. What planet is this? Um, I'm not good with planets. Is it... Uh, Mercury? What's the music doing? I don't know. Could be Mercury. Let's go this way. What's this one? Uh... Venus, maybe? Holy shit. <laughs> I really like the music as well. Oh, there's Saturn. I know that one. Oh. 
That is so cool. Whoa. Mental. Alright, this way, this way. I'm just going on a joyride around the galaxy. Is that the sun? Go straight to the sun! No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Whoa. I'm going to the moon, baby. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I don't like the moon very much. Although I think if I blow up the moon... We'll have some real problems back on Earth with, like, tides and things. I think the uh, the moon's quite important. So I'm just chilling on the moon now. That's the sun. That's the earth. That's where I need to be so I can fly back there. Here we go. Let's not shoot the earth into a million pieces, please. Right, back to earth, back to earth. Oh my god, I fly so fast now. Right, okay, so the core, the core gameplay loop is finding the missions and defending the earth against these aliens that come down. These kind of robot aliens and UFOs and structures and... This is giant snakes as well. It's really, really cool. Let's see if we can find some of them to blow up. Okay, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. That's mission. Looks like it's out in the desert. Or is it a city? Oh, that's definitely a city. Okay. Let's do this mission, shall we? Oh, very nice. Oh, hello, you. Okay. Take that. Oh, whoa. Now, you also don't want to blow up the city you're trying to defend. Where's that guy gone? Oh, he's there. Ah! I've blown up a little bit of the city there. Uh, sorry. There's always going to be a bit of collateral damage, sadly. Eee! Take that! Heat ray mixed with a bit of Kamehameha. Fly back over here. Wait, you! Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm killing so many people. Uh, you have to kill some, though. You have to break a few eggs to make an omelette. You actually always have to break eggs in general to make an omelette. Otherwise, it's not an omelette. It's just not like a sandwich. Come back here. Where are you going? Oi. Where are you going and what are you? Come here. Oh, I see you. Heading for that city, are you? Oh, Come here. Let me destroy you. Ooh, what is that? Oh. Where are you? Oi! Ah, that did not go to plan. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oi! Oh, I'm so sorry! That's thousands of people dead. Immediately dead. Oh no, more. Where is it? Hey, at least I killed the aliens. I might have killed many, many people at the same time, but I did. Oh, is that a storm rolling in? What is that? Ah! Oi, come here, you weird little thing. No. Nope. Do not break that pill. Oi! Oh my god, come here! Where is it? There we go. Hit it in the red bit in it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hit it in the red bit and they die immediately. You don't have to, but it is. Oh, oh shit, I did their job for them. Come back here. Sods. Yes, what a shot. Oh my god, I'm so I'm like Superman in that Superman film I didn't like where he just destroyed everything whilst fighting Zod. And, you know, that isn't a good look for Superman. I'm sure they've got more parks. That can't be their only park, you know. 
I'm sure they've got more. I love the music. It just adds to the feeling of being an absolute badass superhero overpowered monstrosity trying to save the day. Come here, you. God, that's fast. Where are you? Oh, it's a snake. Okay. Did that work? I don't think that worked. Snake? Hello? Hello? Or maybe it did work. Missed. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Look at these things. They're lasering the entire world. Holy shit. Oi, snake boy. Take that. And in your bum. Where are you? Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh. Uh oh. What is that? Uh, hello? Who are you? Uh, do you want me to come and meet you? I can. I will. What is it? Where's it going? Huh. What is that? Oh my god, it's like a wrecking ball machine. No! <laughs> Stop! No, no more! Oh, good, good. Stop that! Ah! Please! Please! Ah, oh, good god. Ow! Crashing into the building sucks. There we go. No more, no more. Oh, that's definitely more. Oh, get rid of it. No more, I said. Where you, where's your red bit? It's on there. That'll do it, that'll do it. I've got to get rid of them quick. They're killing innocent people. Oh, underneath. Sugar. Oh. Oh, no. Yes, I've saved the day, I think. Or I killed everyone. I'm not sure which it is yet. Oh. I got the Xenosphere. Feel the power. So yeah, that's kind of the entire point of Megaton Rainfall. It's a super dated game at this point. Like, it doesn't look particularly sharp in here. It's all kind of got a fuzzy blurriness to it, except for your hands, which look really crisp. But the way it makes you feel is so much more intense than any of the other VR superhero games that have been attempted so far and it shocks me that we don't have a kind of a more complete VR superhero experience uh, this far into the VR life cycle. I mean this has got that kind of no man's sky element where I can fly up literally out of the atmosphere and now that I've got this super liminal flight ability I can keep going you know I can fly to the sun if I want to and then take a little look back and go bloody hell where's earth there it is it's shining down there um i think i can just fly into the sun can i will i die will i die if i fly into the sun it's a good question uh find out oh that looks hot doesn't it <laughs> oh bloody hell it looks hot that looks like a pizza that i've just taken out of the oven in we go nice a great place to holiday. Ow, 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 ow. Well, this is what the sun looks like. It's uh, just a big lavery blob. It's pretty cool. Uh, Earth's that way. Let's go back. Then I can fly back down to Earth. Uh, and literally enter straight into the atmosphere. And get stuck back into blowing up cities and saving people. and uh, In the sea. It's crazy. Like, it doesn't look particularly nice now. It, it is very dated. Um, but I think there's something quite special about this game. I remember the first time I played this was actually on PlayStation VR. It would have been one of my first PSVR experiences. And I was just blown away by how... Uh, just kind of freeing it feels. I think, I think freeing is the best word to describe this game. A great one to play seated or standing. Um, 
it's got smooth or snap turning. You can turn off blind, you can turn on blinders, sorry, if you uh, don't want to feel completely immersed. Um, and it helps with motion sickness as well, I'm sure. I see you, I see you. Where have you gone? Oh my god, the classic UFOs. Freeze time! That's it. Okay, I've got to recharge that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to kill you all. Oh, got him. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about that heat ray. Oh, oh I've heat rayed the building. I'm sorry. I'm around there somewhere. Where are they? Uh-oh, they're in the building. Oh no. Oh no! Honestly, it just feels so awesome. And I like elements of the other superhero games I've played. Like, I like bits of the Spider-Man ones that are free, but they're just not substantial enough to be classed as, like, the best experience we've currently got. Oh, hello. What was that little thing? Are they the weird bulldozer ones? Where is it? Is it in that building? It is! It's a morphing thing! What the f- Oh my good god! What is that? I see you there, you weird clone thing! Holy... They're shapeshifters now! Whoa! Stay still. Oh, I don't think I can kill them until they've morphed! Right, where did it go? It's one of these. There! You! Nope, that's actually a building. Uh, are any of these buildings moving? Stop stalling. There we go. Uh-oh. Ooh! It feels so good to play still. I know it looks probably quite janky. And it does look quite outdated, but it's still an absolute blast to come in here and pretend to be Superman. It's so fun. Take that! Now, I think I picked this up in a sale for like £5. I think it's completely worth that. I think it's normal retail price is about £11.99. I think you will get your value out of that, but it might feel a little bit overpriced for some. You? Yes. Ah. <sighs> If you want a game where you can fly around the entire Earth shooting baddies and just feeling like an absolute badass Superman, then Megaton Rainfall is probably still the best superhero simulator we have. There have been some really good superhero-esque games recently like Resist on the Oculus Quest. The free Spider-Man games are pretty decent. The Marvel game that every VR YouTuber in the world seems to put on some crazy high pedestal, even though it wasn't very good, but because they know no one can play it now, they can make crazy videos calling it the best thing ever and then there's this um it is a little bit outdated if you play it you're probably gonna be like this doesn't look very nice but it, it feels fun to play and i think it's still the most complete package in terms of actually letting you do quite a lot and letting you feel really free i don't know many experiences that let you fly to the earth <laughs> To the point where you can land in a very barren, basic-looking place, nonetheless, uh, blow a big hole up in the floor, and then chip back off into space, uh, and completely and utterly leave the world behind you. I don't know of any other VR experiences that let you do that. I mean, obviously No Man's Sky does, but it's not a superhero game. I can't fire my stuff anymore. No, no, no! It's because I'm in space, I guess. Um, I really rate it. This is Megaton Rainfall. It is a PC VR game. I'm playing it currently with Oculus Quest 2 uh, on Airlink, um, so connected wirelessly. You can also get it on PlayStation VR, and I'd love to see more VR developers trying to create proper superhero-esque experiences, because ultimately, it's, it's a lot of fun, and I think it's a real power fantasy being able to fly around like this, and VR is the only medium, I guess, that can allow us to really experience what that feels like. Um, 
I really rate it. It's a fun little game. It's nine missions long, and then there is a free play mode where you can just fly around destroying enemies and doing all kinds of silly things. Come and check it out if you haven't seen it already. I did want to blow the earth up today because you can charge a blast and hit the earth in such a way that the entire thing explodes. Uh, if I can find some footage of it, I'll play it for you now. Uh, but I can't seem to get the height right. You need to be kind of close enough to the floor to get the impact, but not too close for it to just trigger blowing up an entire city. But uh, it's it's a lot of fun regardless. I hope you've enjoyed this. I so say this is Megaton Rainfall, an older game, but a really, really good one. And still, in my opinion, the best superhero simulator that we have in VR. Uh, if you've enjoyed, please do leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe. And I'll... God, where'd that city come from? Uh, I'll see you very soon for another one. Enjoy your weekend. Take care. See you later.